Candace Arena, the Jack Parker Rink. Welcome to this holiday matinee edition of Boston University Hockey. Bernie Corbett, Mark Linehan here on ESPN+. Plus. The Terriers' uh, annual match with the U.S. National Development Program. Terriers coming off their uh, holiday eve victory over Notre Dame. In the middle. And uh, now a shot in oh. and a goal. It's a uh, five-hole. Oliver Moore, Minnesota bound. Round goes deep. Wilmer in front. And the back door pass and a follow-up goal. Ethan Phillips ties it for the Terriers. Good second effort there after he was denied the first time. Gets his back into the BU zone, a little pirouette. Peterson broke him up. Hudson gets his pocket picked. They go back to Leonard for a shot and a goal. Leonard just rips it high. Now we got odd man the other way. Two on one. Held. Shot. Goal up high. And that is uh, Smith now gets it back. Look out. Goes to the backhand. Stopped by Duplessis and follow up goal. So it is a four to one advantage. Look like Duplessis on the first shot. Two over the line. Stevens looking to center it. Got deflected in. and a goal. Now Stevens was looking to center it. Yeah, it's kind of a weird bounce. Let's and watch the replay here. Bounced over the shoulder. Of got a fortuitous bounce. But uh, the Terriers aggressive there in transition. They got a little numbers game and three on two. And the breakout uh, right there, transition up the wall. Very pass smooth. to the wing. Senna comes across like he's supposed to do. Stevens goes to the net hard. I think it just ricocheted it off just of Chambray, kind of weird, Chambray, right? Chambray, yep. I think it's going to be Stevens well, all the way. It off the yeah, hit the defenseman. Yeah, exactly. That's how it does. Yep. Well, giving him anything. Terry's keeping everybody to the outside. Smith now Until that. penetrates. Shot by Perot, and he beats Duplessis to give Team USA very patient. Steal now by Matt Brown. Matt Brown jumping in offensively. Brown takes hey, it right to the net and scores. Matt Brown with a power move there to the front. And uh, he is able to get the Terriers within two with 9.8 seconds left, second period. Northeast, especially. Page stolen now. Scoot got it back. Shot the goal. Romer Scoot. And the Terriers are within one. So, yeah, at first thought, you're thinking you want him to shoot that puck quicker, but then you see who it is in the hockey sense that he has in the smart, that he just delays it long enough. We watch the replay here. Nice job keeping the puck in on the blue line. Holds it, holds it right here. I'm thinking shoot it, but he makes the defenseman commit. Yep. Makes a nice shot to the far side. Bouncing puck, Phillips. Runs it back here to Getz. Getz widens it out. Lane Hudson off the far point. Hudson stops nice. at the crease for Peterson to go! The Terriers tie it! Yep, it does some Lane Hudson things, and he and Peterson got a couple of wanks at it. I think it's gonna be Peterson finally to the far corner with time winding out in the third period. So, 60 minutes of hockey decides nothing. We are tied at five, five minute overtime period. Which 150 of which will be a four on three. Yeah, I don't want to see that. No, that's right, don't take it. Get a skull there, follow up, and Oliver Moore, who started it, finishes it. He scored in the first minute of the game, and he scores a minute and 35 seconds into overtime with Team USA on the power play. He goes top shelf and beats Duplessis. Yeah, um, I thought we started off really slow today. Um, I, we weren't we weren't ready to play, and sometimes it's tough, you know, exhibition game at two o'clock in the afternoon. And, um, but I thought third period looked like we found our legs. We started pushing a little bit. But listen, you, you give that team chances. They obviously have some high end talent. And it doesn't take much for them to put it in the back of the net. What did you say during that second intermission to lead to the two early goals in the third period? Oh, we just talked. I thought we were better in the second than we were in the first, and I thought we still had more to give. And the guys, I think, kind of woke up a little bit and started pushing. I think that's all it was. What did you think of Sean Bray and Jana Brias? Like? I thought they, they both played very well. It was unfortunate for Sean Bray that, that we got two quick ones in the third there and they decided to take him out um, but you know he, he just he's just coming back he's had um, an injury that um, that was bugging him and I know he's only played like three or four games so he's probably just trying to find his game again uh, I thought John VR played very well I thought he played very well defensively moved the puck very well so I was really impressed with him tonight how important is Matt Brown to your team and if and when NHL teams call uh, and ask for a scouting report what, what would you say yeah, he's a big part of our offense. You know, he drives our offense with his speed. Um, 
he, he, the one thing for him that he's gotten better at this year is he, he's a lot better defensively. He, he's taken more ownership of playing well in defensive zone first um, before trying to go on offense. That's something he's um, done a really good job with. We talked about, talked to him about it uh, at the end of last year. That he has to be better there, and, and he's done that. So, um, yeah, I'm sure this team's watching him. Um, he's producing every night. Uh, I think he's a guy that. Um, he, he, he's very good with offensive players, uh, so I think he need, it's going to help if he plays with offensive players because he can finish and he's got speed and he's, he, he's on the puck, so I think it, that, that's his game. It's interesting to me that you, know, you guys got a lot of high-end players, NHL draft picks. Yeah, your top scorer is a guy who's undrafted. Uh, is there a guy from your days at BU that, I don't want to say Matt's under the radar, but a guy reminds you of back then that maybe wasn't drafted but was an important part and put up uh, put up points uh, I can't rem think of anyone on the top of my head right now who uh, to compare to Matt um, I, I think you see it though you've seen it more and more throughout college hockey that there's a lot of players that go undrafted and, and um, they start you know developing a little later I, I think you see it a lot nowadays where these guys are getting um, Signed as free agents and they're contributing in the National Hockey League. So you know, hopefully Matt's another guy that that'll, that'll happen for him. And four-year players like him, uh, not all four here, but you know, college players that uh, you know finish what they started. That's uh, that can be unusual in, in this day and age. But he's uh, he's stuck it up. Yeah. Yes. I, I think you're seeing more and more guys. You know, stay that extra year or, or stay through. Um, you know, everyone develops at you know different times, so I, I think it benefits guys that you know don't turn pro too early that they stay. And college hockey is good hockey, so you can you see it. Guys step right out of college hockey and play in the National Hockey League and contribute right away. So I don't think there's anything wrong with staying an extra year or two. But is there anything that you saw that you're going to focus on going into next week? I don't think so. I, I think for us, it's it's an exhibition game this time of the year. You want to get through it without any injuries. I mean, you want your team to play with structure and play the right way, but it's tough sometimes, those games. All right. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.